Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how to make a car sliding in effect easy and very quick in After Effects. To make that effect, we will need to remove the car from a background and also an isolated car layer. Let's begin with removing the car from a background. Duplicate your clip and rename it to clean. Now make sure to toggle off your main clip, then make sure you are at the very beginning of a clean layer and then we should mask out the car. To mask, I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha select a pen tool and simply mask the car area like this. Once you are done, enable perspective and then hit on tracking forward button. Once the tracking is done, click on save and then close Mocha AE. Expand matte now and then click on create AE masks. Now press M on your keyboard to expand created mask and change mask mode to subtract. Go to content aware fill tab now and click on create reference frame. This will open a Photoshop for us. In Photoshop select a remove tool and remove this transparent spot. Make sure your image is clean and it's not messed up and once you are done, go to file and click on save, then close Photoshop and go back to AE. Now under a content aware fill tab copy my settings and then hit on generate fill layer, then wait until it's analyzing and once it's done and the car is removed from a background, we can begin isolating the car now. So as I already mentioned, we need a clean background and an isolated car layer. Let's select your very bottom clip or main one and duplicate it. Move duplicated one above fill layer and I will rename it to car only. Now toggle on car only layer and then select a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Let's rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button, and once the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and go back to our main composition. Under a roto brush effect make sure to bump up feather to around 8, that will smoothen the edges of a car. So now we have a clean background with no car, and layer with just only a car without a background, but if you look closer, the image looks so weird and not realistic, because there are no shadows of the car, because we have rotoscoped only a car and it's impossible to rotoscope shadows as well. But, no worries, I will show you how to bring back the shadows very easy. Let's duplicate your very main clip one more time and then drag it below car only layer and then toggle it on. As you see the shadows are back. But now if we toggle off car only layer, we will see that we don't have the clean background anymore and it's just a normal video and all we need is shadows from that original video. So let's toggle on car only video back and then let's rename bottom original video to shadows. Now I will grab an ellipse tool and simply mask out the car like this, make sure you are masking on a shadows layer. Correct the mask something like this, cause we need only shadows and in my case the shadows are only down here. Let me toggle off car only layer and show you what it looks like. We have masked out the bottom part of a car with shadows and all we have to do now is, we should track that mask really quickly till the end of the video. Toggle back on car only layer and then select shadows layer and press M on your keyboard to expand mask path. Click on that mask path stopwatch icon and then go forward a bit and correct the mask. Do the same steps till the end of the clip. Now when I scroll the video, the shadows are back and the video looks way better. Make sure to select car only and a shadows layer and pre-compose them into one layer. I will name it to car only and make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. So if we toggle off a car only layer, we will see that we have a clean background and once we toggle back on car only layer we will have a clean isolated car layer with the shadows and it looks so realistic and nobody will notice that you have rotoscoped the car, except in editors of course. Once we are done with masking and rotoscoping with shadows, we can now begin making a slide in effect. Apply CC scale wipe on a car only layer. Change direction to 90 degrees, then make sure you are at the beginning of your clip and then click on center stopwatch icon. Now drag center position to the left like this. Then scroll forward a bit and change center all the way to the right side. Since we have animated a center, we can increase stretch values now. I will bump up stretch to around 3 and then let's check the effect. That's it, car slide in effect is done, but it will be better if we add a blur effect. And here we have several options and two of them are the best, one is CC Force Motion Blur which is free and another option is paid and it's RSMB Pro plugin. I will use RSMB cause I like it more. Change use GPU to on and then change blur amount to 1, also bump up sensitivity to 100% and then let's check the effect one more time. Looks way smoother, but it will look better if we add a shake at the beginning, or once the car stretch in or fully slides in. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.